Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about mortgage protection insurance. So let's get started. Also, quick note, my cat is trapped in here while I am shooting this video. So apologies in advance if you see a fluffy orange cat just kind of zooming in and out. All right, so what is a mortgage protection insurance or MPI? All right, so mortgage protection insurance or MPI can also be called a couple of other things. It could be called mortgage life insurance or it could be called mortgage protection life insurance. So the basic premise is that if a homeowner has an MPI policy and then dies, the MPI policy will pay off the balance of the house. So essentially MPI will pay for the house in full meaning that now the house could be inherited by other family members potentially. Another thing to note is that some MPIs may not actually cover the full balance. It may be a max number of mortgage payments. So that's something to consider and look into when you are considering an MPI, what exactly are their terms? So who's the beneficiary? The beneficiary is the mortgage company not your family members. How does it work? So it's a lot like other life insurance policies in which you pay a monthly premium to have what's considered an active policy. If you have an active policy and then you die, then the insurance company is on the hook for paying out the remaining of your mortgage if that's the terms and conditions of that MPI policy. Note that your premium does not decrease. So what you are paying is what you agreed to pay on a monthly basis regardless of the balance of your house, which in general, the balance of your house will go down as you are consistently paying your mortgage. Also note that once your house is paid off, your family doesn't get the rest of the money in terms of, let's say you bought a house of $350,000 and then you passed away and the house only had a mortgage of 88,000 left, your family doesn't see the difference. So does the death benefit decrease? Yes. Technically, the death benefit, which is how much is paid at time of death, does decrease the longer you have this policy. Because again, it is just the balance on the mortgage. So as you are paying it off, then your death benefit will be going down as well. Where can you buy this policy? So usually banks and lenders have this type of policy available because again, it is insurance for them that they will get their mortgage payment paid. There are also some traditional life insurance companies that do offer it, but they may not offer it in all 50 states. So that is something that you're going to have to look up. When can I buy this? This actually depends on what insurance company, bank, lender that you purchase it from. From. Usually there's like a two year window from the date of closing. However, there are some that will allow you to do it up to five years from the original closing of the house. Does it cover mortgage payments if you end up having a disability or lose your job? Well, that depends on your MPI policy. Some do and offer this as an additional rider, meaning that you are paying more money for the option to have this covered. But in most cases they are limited to a certain number of mortgage payments. So again, check out your terms. How is the underwriting process? All right, so this is a weird question to answer. And so let's talk about that. All companies have different underwriting requirements and these requirements may change based on market conditions, meaning for their company, what are the trends that they are seeing? Are they going to be in a deficit? And also life expectancy and different scenarios can change. So underwriting processes are not something that is common knowledge. However, technically this type of insurance policy is usually considered a guaranteed acceptance product, meaning that you, if you can pay for it, then you will most likely qualify. And that's good for people who may have other health conditions or have high risk jobs because they may not be eligible for an affordable life insurance policy instead. However, just because it's a guaranteed acceptance doesn't mean that they are in fact 100% going to guarantee you. There's usually an age cutoff in which they will not grant a policy to a person who is 70 years or older, etc. This varies on the company and the basic idea behind this is that the older you are, the closer you are to dying. So the more likely they're going to pay out and therefore they're just not going to insure people that have a high possibility of actually using the insurance. Is this not the same as PMI? Nope, they use the same letters in an acronym, but those letters are reversed and they are two different products. If you have any questions about PMI, which is private mortgage insurance, please see this video. 
Is it worth it? I'm afraid I can't answer this for you because it really is dependent on the person who wants to get this policy, their interest in it, whether or not they think that having the family home inherited by the family members is going to be beneficial, whether or not their family members who are going to inherit it are even capable of paying for utilities, property taxes, etc. It's all dependent on a number of factors and that is a personal decision and so I can't answer whether or not it is worth it for you. So yeah, that's the basics of what MPI is. I hope you found this video helpful. Do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, which is a like and share it with people. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for watching. Really sorry again about my cat being in this video. It's just, he got trapped in here and I'm too lazy to open the door. So yeah, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.